Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Look at that. Go, boat, go. Don't move, man. I keep looking at I keep looking I keep looking at you moving back and forth. Look at that clutch, man. That's called a good clutch right there. What's up you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty. And man, I have been really, really busy. I'm so sorry. My videos have been super, super slow. That's the way it's been right now, man. Trying to focus on my family stuff and trying to get out some cool videos for you guys. But it's taking me a little bit of time. So I'm gonna do some smaller stuff for you. I know you miss me. You miss me, right? So I'll try to put out some smaller stuff for you guys and trickle these in between the larger scale stuff. So check it out. One of you has been begging me for this for so long. I'm so sorry I took so long to do this, but check it out. Look at this. It's from Oxford Block and it's pretty old, but I'm gonna put it on the store. So if you guys are interested in it, we should have it available by now. I think so. So here we go, check it out. So this is Oxford Block's mini turtle ship, BM3526. No idea how many pieces, but it's pretty small for ages eight years old and up. The manual is so small, look at that, it's like a piece of paper. And look, one more time there for you guys that keep bugging me for and manual instructions. It says download here, but I guarantee you're not gonna find it because I could never find these things online. But if you do find it, kudos to you. Go build your mini turtle ship now. The cool thing is, on the back of this, manuals are some old, super old sets. These are like old. I think we sell some of these, but I might not have them all. Can you guys see that? Can you see that if I pull it right there? And you guys can be like, Scotty, get that set. Review that one for me. Get more, and I will, because I love doing this for you guys. Yeah. Now what's interesting here on the back of the manual, I think this is when it was manufactured. 2015, so this is actually a pretty older set. But it's a new release on BrickMeUpScotty.com. So what you see right here is from Oxford Block's architecture series. So if you're a fan of architecture stuff, this might be for you. It's pretty small, look at this thing. Nice and tiny. What do I think? First of all, for build, this thing is actually pretty cool, man. It's really sturdy. It has not fallen apart on me yet. So let's just look right into this. We'll start in the front here. We have what's not a turtle head. This is actually a dragon's head. It's supposed to be a dragon. You know, I'll talk about the history of this stuff later, but look at this thing. You could probably make this on your own, seriously, like using other bricks. It doesn't actually look that complicated. However, if you look here on the front, on the bottom, I know this piece exists in Lego form, but I've never seen it with like big gaps here. Or maybe, you know, I just haven't seen every piece from Lego, but do let me know in the comment if you've seen that piece or not. So anyway, you got the dragon head there, and look at all them oars on the side. Both sides, lots and lots of oars because they've got to row this boat. So I think the holes on the top above them are supposed to be where the cannons go in. But of course, this is just an architecture. They didn't actually build any cannons there, but I think they actually have a bigger one. It's older and it's kind of retired. I put a picture here, but I don't know if you can still get it or not. So we come to the back side here. The dragon's buttocks looks totally fine. It's cool how they have these things sticking out. It's like it's fin or something, legs or whatever that is. And of course, you got the other side, which is mirroring both sides. Look, it's so small. This review is done. Now nah, we gotta keep going on, because there's some special stuff that's about to happen on this thing. Look at the top here. It's not really silver. It's kind of painted, but it's not super shiny. It would've been cool to be a little bit more shinier, but it's not as shiny as, say, like some of the Lego sets we've seen with the shiny bricks. But it's cool. I like how it's kind of flushed out, no studs sticking out. And these are supposed to be spikes, like an armored boat. And we got the sails. I actually like the sails. I think they're actually really cool. They're just held down by a single stud. It's pretty secure though. It's using these pieces. I don't know what those are called. I keep forgetting, but you know what they are. They're like window pieces or wall pieces, but you can get an idea and build your own like that. So the manual kind of does show the sails turn like that, but you can always kind of turn it straight if you want to. Fully adjustable, depending on how you like this boat to roll. And then underneath this thing, you got the stand to hold the boat up. You could actually just take the stand off. It's really simple. There, that's what the stand looks like. Can't get any easier than that. So this set is actually pretty easy to build. And then you can move your boat like that, like this. Row, row, row your boat. Okay, we'll put the stand back on here. I think it goes somewhere around there. Something like that, yeah, okay. 
I'm not quite sure what this piece is on the back behind the second sail, like an extra sail that's not yet put up. And if you're curious, you know, if I just take off the sails and put it here like that, this what it looks like with no sail on it. Nah, it needs the sails for sure. Guess what? It is a modular boat. The top can come off. Whoa, this is so cool. That's actually a nice addition that at least you can go inside there. Now it looks like you have two boats here. How cool is that? All right, let's look on the inside. Yeah, it's pretty barren in there. Not much really going on on the inside, but you can see how the oars are held into place. And it's actually on a tilted long plate. So even though these might pop off or you might drop one, you go, oh man, it's gonna be so hard to put back in. You just take off the top, slot it right back in, and it'll hold. So it's kind of cool that the oars actually do have a little bit of tilt there. You can tilt it up, tilt it down. And there's a little bit of gap in here. You can't really fit a minifigure inside, but it's kind of nice, again, that you can take the top off, which is cool. You know, that's the most exciting thing about the set. It goes up and down. So here's the top section of the ship, just so you guys can see. And underneath, it is on three separate plates. Just so you know, as for the color of the set, it's kind of nice. It's not like overly blown out everywhere and it looks kind of sophisticated, but it's simple. I like the dark brown mixing in with the light brown and the silver and a little bit on the white on the sails. It looks nice. Hey, I'm not a colorist, man. Alrighty, it is dimension time. This thing is actually pretty small. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually take off the stand because we don't need the stand there. It'll just obstruct me. I'm gonna put it right here and kind of line it up there so you guys can see. Look at that. Let me punch it a little bit closer for you guys. It is about 29 studs in length. And let's check the width here. We're gonna rotate it like that for y'all. Look at that thing. Sorry, I didn't have a blue base plate. Did they have blue base plates? Blah, blah, blue, blah, blah. It is around 15 studs by width. Now let's check the height. All right, team, break out your one by four bricks. I'm gonna stack it in between the oars right there. Come on, come on, brick. There. Oh, you can kind of see it there. It's a little bit past it. It's almost touching the tip of this part of the sail. Yeah, it's pretty close to there. And that is 18 bricks in height. So there you guys go. Now back to the video. With that being said, that's about it, folks. There's not much more to say about the set. So what I'm gonna do is read you a little bit of history about the turtle ship so you and I can have a little bit of history lesson and see if you like this ship or not. And if it's for you, it's gonna be available on BreakMeUpScotty.com. So here we go, sit back, grab a cup of drink, coffee, beer, whatever you want, relax, and listen to this. A turtle ship, also known as Jiobokusan. Sorry, my Korean really sucks. But the type of large Korean warship that was used intermittently by the Royal Korean Navy during the Joseon Dynasty from the early 15th century up until the 19th century. It was used alongside the Panoxian warships. I don't know what those warships look like. In the fight against invading Japanese naval ships. The ship's name derives from its protective shell-like covering. This design is often recognized as the first armored ship in the world. And here, just for you guys, I'm gonna put some comparison pics so you guys can see this related to the real thing. It looks like a couple of them, but it has its own unique style. And look, they really do have a dragon's head on the real one. That's cool. You know, that was just taken from Wikipedia. You guys can research more about the ship and its history. And of course, I have to do the drop test. Uh, I'm gonna take it off the stand, okay? Cause you know, the stand is gonna be secure for sure. The boat itself, I'm sure it's gonna fall apart. I'll put it right here. Chop it in five, four, three, two, one. 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 Solid! It's actually pretty solid. Only one oar fell off. And just the sails, but these things were held by a single stud. Yeah. All right, double checking the build, make sure nothing else fell apart. It's a small set, man. It's not gonna like totally fall apart on you. Put the stand on there. Okay, now for a little bit of comparison. If we're doing architecture, you'll wanna see it next to some official Lego architecture. This, the Great Wall. And this is London. You know, does it, does it look like it goes together? Here is the Lego's Empire State Building, which I have not yet reviewed, but I have done the other brand, yeah? One get. There we go. 
Does that look like it goes together? I like this eyes, to be honest with you. It's kind of nice sitting on the shelf. Very cool indeed. So there you guys go. This is Oxford Blocks Mini Turtle Ship. Where's the large one? I want to see the large one. Yeah. All right, you guys. Until next time, pick me up. But I have the other. Uh. Row, row, row your boat row, gently row, down the stream. Row your boat. Merrily, 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 life is merrily, 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 merrily,